Hey guys, welcome to another episode about TSP programming. In today's episode, we are going to deal with debugging. So for the purpose of this episode, I am going to create a simple counter a sketch. So uh, what we need in here, it's serial begin with baud rate of 9600, meaning we are initializing our serial monitor. We need a variable that is going to serve as counter, so integer counter set initial value to zero then in void loop we are going to print that value to the screen so counter then we are uh, adding one to uh, that value counter plus equals one and we are making pause of one second but now in order to debug this piece of code we need to include library gdbs tab dot h okay and we need to initialize this library with gdbs tab underscore init all right and now I'm going to upload this piece of code. Okay, now I'm going to open my serial monitor. All right. Our sketch works. Okay, so uh, in order to do debugging, you have to close your serial monitor. So once again, you cannot keep your serial monitor uh, open and debug your code. So what you need to do now, uh, go to uh, your files explorer and go to home directory. Now in home directory, you need to press a control H in order to see uh, hidden documents. On Linux, you are looking for a directory dot Arduino 15 in your home directory. But if you are on Windows, you are going to look into user profiles, app data, local, and then look for Arduino 15. So for now, I'm going to open Arduino 15, go to packages. Now uh, select your uh, microcontroller. My it's uh, ESP8266. Then go to tools. Uh, then extensa LX1006 uh, elf GCC open that one open the only one go to bin and now open this uh, directory with your terminal all right I'm going to close this so We are going to execute this one. This is uh, our debugger, Xdenza LX106 Elf GDB. And once again, you cannot use other type of GDB. You need this particular one because this one is designed for your microcontroller. So now I'm going to run uh, Xdenza LX106 Elf GDB and we have our debugger started. All right. So first thing that we have to do now, it's some housekeeping stuff. So I have uh, this document debugger settings. I'm going to open it and I'm going to copy all of this into my debugger settings. So we have set remote hardware breakpoint uh, limit one, set remote hardware uh, watch point limit one, set remote interrupt on connect on, set remote kill uh, packet off, set remote symbol lookup packet off, set remote verbose resum packet off. And then we have some settings for uh, memory addresses. So the best course of action is for you to uh, copy this content into some file like I did and just paste it in your debugger. All right. And after that is done, I'm just going to set my uh, baud rate with set serial baud to 9600. So that number uh, must match with settings uh, from your uh, sketch. And finally, we need to attach file to our debugger. So I'm going to close this document, open your file explorer or actually I'm not going to use a file explorer for this. I'm going to open another terminal and navigate to TMP. Let's see what we have in here. So we need to go to this uh, folder, Arduino built. Okay, let's do it. CD, 
paste this address sorry let's see what we have now okay in this document what we are looking for we are looking for file with extension ino.elf and with name of our sketch and that name it's blink so my sketch uh, name it's blink so i'm just going to print my local directory and i'm going to copy this to my debugger set file now i'm going to copy and paste and i'm going to add file name so as i said blink.ino.elf all right this part is done and finally we are going to attach our usb uh, with command target remote and provide the name of your usb so in my case that is tty no sorry dev tty usb 0 and press enter okay evidently something went wrong i'm going to cancel this process and let's do it again so first i'm going to copy these settings then we are setting about rate set serial about to 9600 okay then we are setting file to tmp okay let's do it like this file paste and then we are attaching blink ino elf okay that's that's totally fine and now target remote dev tty usb0 okay we are in so as you have seen if you experience some problems uh, restart your microcontroller and repeat the process now with command cont we are going to uh, get results from our serial monitor i'm going to type ctrl c now in order to stop this and now in order to create breakpoint use command break and I'm going to make a breakpoint at my uh, void loop. So I'm going to add loop in here. All right. And at this point, if you want to get value from some variable, use command uh, print and then variable name. And in here we are dealing only with one variable, variable counter. And yes, at this moment, value of uh, our variable counter, it's 117. And if for some reason you want to change value of your variable, type command set, then name of your variable equals and then provide value. I'm going to provide value of minus 50. All right. And now I'm going to uh, print my counter once again. And we got value of minus 50. And then if you have multiple breakpoints, you are going to use command next in order to jump between them. And for now, I'm just going to delete my uh, existing breakpoint with command delete, provide Y. And now I'm just going to uh, continue with execution with command count. You see, we are counting from minus 50, minus uh, 49 and so on. And now I'm going to type control C and I'm going to quit from my debugger. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you have uh, learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.